Welcome back to Woodworking with Wes, part two of our bookcase. You saw us put the bookcase together on our part one, and today we're going to make a very unique little decorative end panel by applying these strips to the outside of the bookcase that we've already built. The pieces that we made are half inch thick, and we have put on them a 15 degree bevel and we're going to turn the bevel to the inside and make a real nice little beveled inside panel. Our front piece, this is the front of the bookcase, this is the back of the bookcase. Our front piece is going to be two and a quarter inches wide. Our back piece is going to be three inches wide. The reason we made this two and a quarter and this three is because when we put the face frame on it, it will create a three inch wide piece. And so we're going to have a three inch front and back rail uh, style, excuse me. And then our rails are going to be cut out of these wider pieces and fit like this up top and bottom. And then we'll sand that all down and that will create a panel. First thing we need to do is sand our uh, exterior of our bookcase and begin to uh, put our pieces on. I'm gonna have you just watch me go through and nail this together. We'll putty it up and get ready to sand when we're all done. And that will create a very decorative little outside to our bookcase. The reason we sand before we put our pieces on is because once we put our pieces on, you couldn't sand this panel. One of the things I wanted to point out, you see a very dark streak through here. This is just a mineral streak, very common in cherry. We call it pitch pockets. Just a very, very natural part of the grain of cherry. Shows up real often. We're not going to worry about it. It will just become part of the decoration, I guess, if you'd like, for lack of a better term. But it's just part of the way cherry is. We're okay with it. First thing we'll do is we'll put our front piece on and we'll make it flush with the face of our bookcase. We're going to glue. We're going to use 23, gra 23 gauge headless pins to put it on. We'll put that on. When we put the back piece on, we want to hang it over 5 sixteenths of an inch, creating a rabbit effect for our back to fit in. It'll be, create a little notch for our back to go on so that our back doesn't show from the outside of the cabinet. Then we'll cut our pieces top and bottom to make our rail stock. So style, style, rail, rail, and we'll have a panel. Okay, now what we're going to do is our top and bottom rail pieces also have this 15 degree bevel and what we're going to do is take them to our cutoff saw and we're going to cut a 15 degree bevel to fit inside this and create our top and bottom rail. I'll go over to the chop saw, cut those bevels and we'll get them to fit and create our top and bottom rail. We've cut our rail stock now. We put a 15 degree bevel on the outsides of our pieces to match our 15 degree bevel on our styles. That fits in just perfect right there, just like that. We're gonna glue and nail that in. It covers our nails and staples that we nailed our, cap our box together with, and it creates a real nice little bevel detail on the inside of our style and rail to give our panel a real nice fancy look. Like I say, we're going to glue and nail that in again with our 23 gauge top and bottom and our panel is ready to be sanded out.
just like that. Okay, those are ready now to putty, sand, get ready to put the face frame on. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side so that we have matching sides. We'll talk after the face frame. This is the configuration of our bookcase face frame. It'll have a four inch top and bottom rail and an inch and a quarter side uh, styles. We're going to go to our Craig boring machine and drill our holes, flip it over, put our face frame together. We're getting ready to nail on the face frame now. This is the base of our uh, bookcase. This is the top part. Here's the face frame we just got through putting together. We're going to lay it on and make sure that it fits properly. We're going to make the bot. This is bottom rail and we're going to have the bottom rail flush with the bottom of the bookcase and the sides flush because we're going to be having hinges and doors we want our sides to be flush. We don't want our books to be hidden behind it either. So anyway, that's the way our face frame is going to go on. Just like that, we're just going to glue and face nail and then putty and sand. So let's do it. When we put our face frame on our bookcase, we had built it wide enough to overlap the little uh, panel work that we did on the side, but it overhung too much. I have a bigger lip here than I wanted. I was just going to sand this off and, and there's just too much to sand with my finish sander. So I brought out my belt sander and we're going to take my belt sander and belt sand this down to where it's almost the same. Now, being as we're having solid wood and solid wood, a belt sander is a nice way to go because we don't have to worry about sanding through any veneer. So let's just go ahead and get busy with the belt sander and bring this down to a closer level so we can finish sand. Well, we've still got a little bit more sanding to do in order to finish this off, but we're going to go ahead and get it sanded. This will be the end of segment two, part two of our bookcase. You can see we've got the panels on, we've got the face frame, and I want you to make sure you stay tuned for the next part. We're going to do a way, way cool crown mold with hand-cut dentals. And we look forward to seeing you then on Woodworking with Wes. Mm -hmm.